Hello, hello and welcome to another video. This week we are going to continue the bunny saga. So basically, I, 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 I hope that this is going to be the last video that I'm going to do about the dust bunnies. I think you're already all over the place with this one. But I just wanted to show you how to uh, record all the steps that we've done in the last video. And so if you haven't seen the last video, um, then click on the top right corner, I think. <laughs> there is going to be a link it will pop up nonetheless so basically I'm going to show you how to record all your actions into a macro so you will be able to see the dust bunnies very very fast with just one click so in order to do this I'm going to show you first in affinity 2.0 and I'm going to show you where to activate the macros from uh, uh, earlier versions as well because affinity changed a little bit the design so go here in window if you have 2.0 and you have macro and go again to window and select library as well okay that's it so basically now you see the macro panel mm -hmm. affinity so if you have affinity 1.1 or earlier versions then you can find them in the studio so basically go view studio and here you can see you have macro and library as well right let's go back to 2.0 because starting from here you can do the same things in the newer version and the old version of affinity photo so the way you do that basically now you have your layer here selected you go and you click on this record button so click on it so it's like recording a tape you know for people who recorded tapes when uh, when they were younger I remember those days so now you go here in live filters on the bottom and we do the same operation like we did last week unsharp mask radius to the top factor to the top and actually you can change here to 300 or something like that depends on your image yet again and then what you can do is basically add another one so you go unsharp mask again add more radius add more factor and then click close and with this basically we finished recording the macro so you can click on this stop recording and let's save it so add to library remove bunny no that is not going to work this is going to work for all your images click ok and now you can see show bunny spots so now we have another image and if i click on show bunny spots boom now you can see that with one click it just appeared so it's always going to be here right so if you want to export this macro you can right click on it and edit macro uh, and why is with this affinity 2.0 i think i killed affinity 2.0 <laughs> oh my god i just killed it so yeah, it, it's it's an error. So let's report it. Let's report it. Click on it. Click, 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 click. It's not working. Reopen. Come on. Let's try to open the Affinity 2.0 again. Cancel this and let's open the raw image. Don't open the recovery file. So this is a new file. This is basically a new raw image develop and show bunny spots and you can see that works let's see if we can kill the affinity again so if you right click on it and you go edit macro now it's working yay so what i wanted to show you basically is if you go here and you click on the export button here you'll be able to export your um your your macro and keep it or give it to a friend or whatever and then if you reinstall affinity or uh, you can import it from here and that is it bob's your uncle okay and that's it i really hope you enjoyed this small tutorial if you did hit the like button and comment below if you need more help also if you're not a subscriber please consider do so it will help me very very much until next week take care <laughs>